Hello chess fans! Welcome to a new episode of our video tutorials. This time we take a closer look at the Lux cabinet, specifically how setting up the chessboard works and what is included in the box. Beautifully and functionally packaged to protect the product. In addition to the Lux cabinet, you will also find some documents and the accessories with which you can attach your board to it, like the template with which you can position the foam rubber in the best position on the board. The Lux cabinet is packed upside down for better protection. Some of the foam edges are already mounted on the Lux cabinet, the others are spare parts. The Lux cabinet already contains all the electrical parts and cables to connect the accessories. I recommend using the foam cover from the original packaging to place your chessboard upside down on the table, so it doesn't get scratched while we glue the square foam rubber pieces onto our chessboard. Now you can open the template provided and align it with the edges of the chessboard, in our case the exclusive board. Remove the protective paper from the foam stickers and stick them to the corresponding four positions on the board. Try to be as accurate as possible. When this is done, you can remove the paper template. The remaining foam pieces are spares or can be attached to a second chessboard you may have. Now you can easily place the chessboard on the Lux cabinet. It has a little play, but this makes it easier to assemble, especially if the board is taken down often. Now let's connect the other parts to start a game soon. You need the chess vault and the chess link to be able to use your beautiful chessboard as an e-board. And you can do this independently of a charger for about 10 hours. Make sure the chess link is already on before you put it in the drawer. Connect the 9 volt output cable to the chess link power input and the 5 pin data cable to the correct socket. You will connect this to your chessboard in a moment. That's it for chess link, and you can now place it in its position on the right side. It fits well in the box. Now we can connect the short cable from the Lux cabinet, which is marked to power bank, to the input of our chess vault power bank. And the output cable from the chess link has to be connected to the 9 volt input slot of the Lux cabinet. Done. We should arrange the cables so that the drawer can be opened and closed easily. The data cable can now be plugged into this small notch on the back of the drawer before it is pushed through the Lux cabinet to the other side, so that we can then connect our chessboard. Connect the chessboard to the data cable. Now you are ready to go. The setup is complete and you can now switch on the chessboard and start a game. To open your Lux cabinet, you need to pull out the data cable a little. This will give you the flexibility and length you need to access the drawer and put the pieces in. I recommend pulling out the data cable first. Now it is easier to open the drawer and create more space to arrange the figures in the Lux cabinet. In addition, the data cable is not stressed as much. From time to time, the chess vault should be charged. 
To do this, simply connect the charging cable from the outside. After 5 hours, the chess vault is fully charged again.